What's up, everybody? It's Simple Six, and uh, we're just going to talk about my 280Z, and we're going to talk about all the things that I've kind of been doing to it. So let's get started. Um, I've had the car for over seven years. It's just been sitting, and I pretty much tri tripped it down from California to Arizona, and uh, so far it's been uh, a lot of work just trying to get it running. And right now I finally have the car just running comfortably. And what I mean by comfortably is like it still needs a couple things like shocks, uh, brakes. Uh, but as far as like engine work, uh, I changed all the fluids. Uh, it turns right over. I had a problem with the alternator for almost two weeks. I wasn't sure what the problem was until I figured out it was alternator. Then I finally brought the alternator, alternator uh, to AutoZone, they gave me a new one, and the alternator was not the right one. And then I was doing some wiring. I'll talk about that in a second as I get into the uh, car. But this is just like a walk around of the car. Um, give you guys a taste of what's going on here. So basically, um, when I first got the car to here, I took off the plastic parts here. That's why the other side is missing. Because um, I was like doing some sanding. And now that I see it like without it, I'm kind of liking the plastic, digging the plastic parts. So I may put them back on there. It's, uh, I think it's just for like the doors, like so when you're at the store, the rubber doesn't uh, hit the car. It actually kind of gives it a little unique look. We'll see how long I keep that there. I bought some new tires. Um, I have the turbine rims. These came with the car. I didn't buy these separate. So. I did that. Um, I took off the front bumper. 280Zs have a big giant bumper. They don't look really good. Um, they're for protection, obviously, but if you're going to crash this car, more likely, since it's so old, it's, it's probably going to be destroyed um, just because it's so small. But I can kind of talk about how the bumper, taking the front bumper was, taking the front bumper was tough. Um, it took me about an hour and a half. You have to get these brackets down here and when you remove these brackets you're able to kind of adjust and wiggle the front bumper off and underneath here and this crack didn't happen from that but i had to really kind of pull this bumper out of here so you can see it's like some of the marks it left but i wasn't too worried about it because most of this car is you know freaking old so doing that wasn't afraid i wasn't afraid of like messing it up the only thing I'm mad about that I did was I had this big rust spot and uh, I've looked throughout the whole car and this was the only part that was like really bad and I just, just ended up ripping the whole metal out so I need to find somebody who can who's good with um, welding welding in a new piece of metal there it's a big ass hole it sucks but um the frame doesn't have any rust. I mean, it does, but it's not like crazy. The floor pan, the floor pan you can see inside here, like it's yellow underneath there. So it looks good, um, looks new, not like brand new, but it's like minor rust areas you see, like this stuff here. I'm pretty sure you can take this metal out of here, and clean this up, maybe spray some black paint on it. Like, like I said, I was just doing some, some of my own sanding. Then we get to the engine bay. This is like where the real mess is at. Um, obviously changing the alternator. There's no good videos of how this looks. So let me show you guys if you have a 280Z. I think this is your, like your wire that sends the power to the battery. This sends to like the, to the light. Like so your light tells you like if you're... Um, need to charge and this is your ground like nobody explains that that simple so if you're wondering about all that stuff and you're having electrical problems know that um, this is your starter this one's a hot wire for the battery or this one's here is your hot wire for the battery it's kind of loose I need to work tighten that up um, this is your electrical gauge, so this like tells you how much power is being generated through the car. 
So you need one of these. If you don't, and you're wondering like why your car is messing up, it's probably one of these. Connecting to the alternator. Um, and this is my engine. Basically, I need new uh, in fuel injectors. These fuel injectors up here. That's what this is. This part, this bar. Those need to be replaced. Uh, that's my next uh, battle. Obviously, getting more of these hoses cleaned up. Um, I've cleaned up most of the big ones, like the sending hoses and your your coolant hoses. Um, but my car doesn't have any cooling problems or heating problems, so that parts that stuff's all working good. It's like an old tractor; it just keeps running. But I want to make sure everything's like, you know, nice. But from the inside, if you open this stuff up, it's still clean. Like the outside looks dirty, but it's really clean. I didn't remove the rear bumper yet, or these things. I think somebody else did it before I had the car. But the rear bumper, these things are going to come out. But in order to move these things out, you have to uh, drop the gas tank. So that really sucks. What's up, man? I'm talking about it right now. All right, guys. As I was saying before, uh, I was talking about the bumper. I'm going to get the bumper removed eventually, but I got to drop the gas tank for that. Brakes. But let's go into what you guys came here to see, and that's the car startup. So um, we'll step inside, and we'll hear her start. Um... It's always a good feeling to see this car, feel, hear this car start up. Starts right up. It's idling good. If you guys want to see, hello. And that's uh close the door here so you can get a full view of the car. So this is a uh, yeah my 280Z guys look forward to this new build and everything that's gonna go on. This is gonna be my first build so so I'm excited to just see what happens with this car. Um, you don't find them like this anymore. So excited. I have all the emblems too. I just took them off because one day I'm gonna get this car painted and I didn't want anybody to come and just steal them off of here. I'm pretty sure you can just buy them, but I didn't want anybody to take them. I have louvers as well. I didn't put louvers on, but I have them. It's almost good to go.